I just think Ludwig makes a superior metal snare drum. I think their metal drums are outstanding. That's just my opinion. Everybody's got their opinion. But today I want to show you the first of the three that I have. Uh, and this is, uh, I guess this is their flagship snare drum. Uh, this is what they call the Black Beauty. And uh, this Black Beauty is, uh, this particular one is just, it's a 5 by 14 5 by 14 inch. Uh, it's pretty standard when you look at it. Not very impressive. Uh, it's got the uh, old badge made in, I think this is North Carolina, which would have been their new factory. Uh, yep. Let me just check. Yeah, North Carolina. Uh, so this is uh, brass. It's brass and uh, nickel coated which gives it the, uh, the black appearance. And now uh, they first made this drum back in 1929, I believe. That was their first uh, Black Beauty attempt. Now this, uh, it was very successful. Uh, this particular drum has been uh, nicknamed the hit maker because it's probably on thousands of songs that you've heard in the past. Uh, and I'm pretty sure in every studio around New York, L.A., Nashville, that uh, in their snare drum collection arsenal, there's, I'm almost sure they have a, a Black Beauty snare drum in there. Uh, it's such a versatile drum. It could be used in rock, jazz, funk, marching, it would be whatever, you know, this drum will fit into pretty much any genre. Um... I used again, uh, I used 32 uh, snares crossed uh, with the string. I do that on all my snare drums. I just think that uh, the strings sound better. And uh, I like the 32 uh, snare wires going across. It just gives uh, more of a, a, a high end, uh, almost a snap. Uh, but it breathes differently underneath. Uh, what else can I say about this drum? It's got 10 lugs across the top. So you're going to get, with 10 lugs, you get more of a, the, the sound coming up from the top. They are now making a 8 lug Black Beauty snare drum. And uh, with the lesser lugs, there's more, the sound emulates more from uh, the sides of the drum. Uh, but I've seen Black Beauties that are really elaborate. Uh, most of the ones that I've seen have been the uh, like six, 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 six and a half, I think, by 14. And I've seen some with like gold etchings and really elaborate uh, designs going around the shell of the outside. Uh, this drum has, looks like hammer mocks around the, uh, the nickel, the black. Probably can't see. Let me, see if I'll try, there are hammer marks. They're very small. Um, shall I play it for you? Uh, let's just hear it with the uh, without the snares. I do like the growl. Growl. No more growl.
shot. Check out the rim click. I'll use the butt end. Very nice. This is pretty much it, the Black Beauty. Uh, I've owned this drum for about, ooh, I don't know, 10 years now? A little over, probably a little over 10 years. And what's interesting is, when I first got this drum, I, you know, I uh, changed the heads, whatever, I tuned it, and it sounded good. I was impressed. But I gotta tell you, what happens to drums, as I, I've had this one for 10 years, it's almost, and I've been using it a lot on uh, just rehearsing, with the bands and uh, some recording, you know. Uh, but what happens over the 10 years is almost a drum breaks in like a, you know, like a shoe that you've had for, let's say, you know, a year that you've worn on and off. Uh, it just, something happens to the drum. And uh, I was told once that if you use wooden sticks with the wooden tips, it breaks the drum in better or faster or something like that. Uh, but what I do know is that every time I pick this drum up now, it, it just sounds good, you know, even if I don't, you know, tweak the tuning at all, it just sounds, it just sounds good now, it's, it's at that point. I think you may know what I'm talking about. So that's the Black Beauty, love this drum. Uh, that's a $700 drum, in case you're interested.